Good morning, shadows. I am on my way to the bus stop. Today we are headed towards Tirana uh, for three days there. And of course, as usual, it is a little bit of a hike. So I got up and got moving pretty, pretty early. So um, hopefully it's a pretty easy uh, morning. All right, guys, see you in a bit. getting a good view of it. I'm just stopping for a second to rest my back and then we'll get going. Guys, I'm gonna move over to where there's a little more light so maybe you can see me. Finally made it to the hostel. I feel really stupid because I've made 500 luck to go around in a circle and wind up right back where I was. I literally passed by it, but hey, whatever. At this point, I was just happy to find it. Um, yeah, so here's a little look at the room. So, pretty nice. Uh, I'm glad Freya suggested it. So, it looks like. There we go. This looks like it's our bathroom. A couple different showers, which is cool. Place. I am going to relax for a few minutes and then I think I am going to go out and get some food and maybe find a market. Hopefully you can see me so that I can get some food. I just got back from going to the market, bought some stuff so I can have dinners here, trying to minimize my cost as much as possible. Um, completely doable, um, plus I had to buy some new shampoo. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna hop in the shower, get comfortable, uh, and work on some stuff, and then that will be my day for today. So I'm gonna end it here. It was an easy trip, a little bit of a long walk. Uh, so I think today I pretty much walked about five miles, which is pretty good. I've been averaging between five to seven miles a day anyway. So, um, and then tomorrow we will get up, hit Skanderberg Square, just kind of do that kind of stuff maybe maybe do a movie if I can uh, manage it I haven't yet got to see Avengers uh, yet so the new one and uh, I'm looking to see if that's gonna be happening so we'll see and that's my plan for today tomorrow so we'll see you tomorrow good morning shadows so today we are just going to be checking out the city and I think if I can find it we may go, go see a movie I haven't seen a movie in a while and Avengers just came out like I said yesterday so um, well just came out here uh, yeah so hopefully we'll check out Skanderberg Square just kind of get a feel of the lay of the land I kind of googled a little bit so I kind of have an idea where we're going let's get this day started
does. So I got to Skanderberg Square. It looks pretty cool. Um, the it's not shocking, but the difference between just night and day between uh, Barat and Toronto is amazing. This could be like any big city that I'm used to, um, except for it has really cool ancient buildings. So, um, yeah, I found the theater, so we'll walk back that way and we're gonna go see uh, Avengers and then um, probably grab something to eat a little bit and just kind of relax. Right now I'm just chilling, enjoying the square. Uh, found the National Museum, so that'll be easy to find tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Take a look. about 40 minutes before the movie starts. I wanted to kind of give my reflections on the day so far. I'm super stoked to be going to see this movie. And I think if you're traveling for a long period of time, I think it's okay to do like normal things. Like going to a movie would be a normal thing for me, but not normal. I'm seeing the 3D version of Avengers for $5. That's right, $5. So in America it would probably be like 13, probably, um, to see the 3D version. So it might be worth it. Um, just kind of chilling. So I think I'm just going to relax in the shade a little bit and I'm going to go and put everything up because I'm sure they don't want me to take this in there with me. Um, and then we'll pick up on the other side of the movie, guys. Good morning guys. So we are headed to the National History Museum today. It's my last day in Toronto. So uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna head back down the way we came before and go see some stuff about history. Oh. Alright guys, so it was really, really cool in there. Um, of course, you can't take pictures, so I, I, mean, I, I stole a few, but um, before I was told I couldn't. Um, but I highly suggest, like, if you know nothing about Albania, like, that was very comprehensive, um, very cool. It makes me want to research more. That's just me because I'm a huge, like I said, history nerd. Uh, but if you come to Tirana, you have to come to the National Historical Museum. There is so much stuff in there. I think I wandered around for probably like an hour and a half in there, would be my guess. Um, there is a couple places where it does, they don't translate it into English, so it's just kind of you looking and kind of trying to figure it out. Um, yeah, uh, check it out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get something to eat and just kind of try to relax. Maybe take a picture of these turtles over here. All right guys, see you in a bit.
uh, which is amazing. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, you know, I think it's uh, something super important for all across the globe. Um, and I think it was amazing that that just happened. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I don't know what to say. I think it's, <laughs> ow, oh, the music is spot on. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, any of you guys out there that are from Albania, just know I support you guys as I do all LGBTQ. Um, yeah. So, I feel like Sunday is the day. I just uh, went into a uh, LGBTQ uh, march. And then I found this lovely, it looks like some traditional dance. So that, why not? Let's check it out. All right, so let's try it again. The last one was gonna be really super tight into my face. So, um, I just spent about 30 minutes watching um, some Albanian traditional dance, but done by like a, um, like an after-school kids kind of club. It's very cool. I think when you're on these trips, you should really take the time to check those things out. I mean, it was it was really fascinating, um, and I see some similarities with other cultural dances. So it's it's something that ties everybody in. So make sure you uh, check out everything you can while you're in town. And now I'm heading back to the hostel. I have to book my hostel for Skoder and pack and work. All right, guys.